Real quick, uh, it's March 25th, 2019. Quick video for all you day traders out there um, who are just getting into day trading, uh, which is why I'm making these videos. Um, I'm going to show you kind of the trades that I like to take, and every video I make basically is going to be that. Um, and I'm going to start live streaming pre market to show my trade ideas, um, pre market scans, because uh, those can be really helpful for new day traders as well. If you're not, if you don't have the, the cash yet, the, the uh, financial ability at this point to pay the subscription for trade ideas, um, which is hefty, but it's absolutely necessary in the long run to be a successful day trader. I can show you my scans and give you an idea of what trade ideas is like, um, and uh, that can help you, you know, get started day trading. Um, so yeah, so I will show you. I will hopefully be. Uh, I was supposed to do it last week, and then I, I just wasn't able to do it in the pre-market uh, Thursday or Friday. But I'm going to try and do it uh, this week, probably Wednesday. Um, at the earliest. I can't do it tomorrow. I'm just not going to have the, the chance to do it that early. Um, but I will do it uh, this week, probably Wednesday, either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but I'll show you one trade I took today, um, which was a pre-market trade. I got it in the pre-market scan. Um, and I'll show you my pre-market scanner. It's still up there because it still has the volume. And that was PTI. Uh, it popped up in my pre-market scan. And um, so this is a daily uh, chart. Each one of these candles is a day. Um, you can see the little, which one of these, everything um, is listed here, all the moving averages and the color coding of each. Uh, but you can see this was yesterday and it gapped down uh, all the way down to here, around just below 2, I think, or at 2 or something like that uh, today, this morning. Um, so it was moving in the pre-market, and I'll show you my trade ideas, because uh, I like the trade ideas uh, pre-market um, charts better. So you can see what happened. This was yesterday, the purple, and then this little orange is uh, in the pre-market, and it went down big time early in the day around seven o'clock and just kept fading right so it popped up in my pre-market uh my pre-market scan and um so i put it on the list and i was watching it all day and i'll show you why i got into it when i did so you can see the first five minute candle was down right then it was below view app this purple line tried to get above view app but couldn't broke back down below so second break of view app down and you can see this big topping tail here right um, shooting up to view app but then settling back here that's when I got in I said okay it's failed view app and it looks like it's starting to f uh, fade on the day now I got in I was lucky to get in because I wanted to get in around 168 but because of this is a uh, SEC rule 201 an uptick rule which means that when stocks move down this quickly this fast they put this in so that uh, I mean you could look it up and Google it just means that there has to be a certain amount of ticks up before you can short it um, and obviously I wanted to short it because I thought it was going down. Um, I got in though eventually at 165 I got filled at 165. Now one of the things I love I always look at this when I'm shorting gappers down. This is the five minute another five minute chart and this is the 8 EMA and the 20 SMA. And now you can see what why I like this. It, it, first candle like I showed in the other chart down and it's moving um, sideways a little and as, I wait for that 8 EMA to catch up right and I see how it behaves at the 8 EMA. What does it do? It gets close and then it starts to move away from it um, but use it as a as a resistance you can see spikes up moves away and then i can see as it's moving down it's moving down with this 8 ema um on the five minute chart so i got in here maybe a little ahead of the game because i also like to wait for the 20 sma you should use the 8 and the 20 together 8 ema exponential moving average average and the 20 sma simple moving average as soon as that catches up i like to see what happens because usually if it uses that as a resistance as well as a, almost like a backup resistance, then I know it's going to go down further. So what happened? Uh, so yeah, I'll tighten this up so it looks a little cleaner when you get in here. Yeah, so what happened? Move down, move down with the 8, came back above the 8, but look what was there for the rescue, the 20 SMA. Couldn't get above it. I got nervous because I got in here at about 165. I said if it gets to 179, I put this line here. I said if, to remind me if it gets here, I'm out. And it didn't because it used the 20 as a resistance, stayed back below the 8 m again. ADMA and then kept going another spike I love these topping tails here it tells me that the people are trying to buy it and bring it up but couldn't um, and the sellers were winning out and then boom big drop here as soon as this happened see it moved pretty quickly here um, and I said I'm gonna get out here because I don't know if it, my target was 137 I wanted it to hit 137 I wasn't sure if it was gonna do that and this big drop down got me a little nervous I said you know usually when it moves this fast and this quick after it's been moving kind of consistently um, in this short period of time uh, it might start to move back up again, and that's what it did. So I got out right here at 141. 
uh, all my shares. So got in at 165 and got out at 141. So 24 cent gain are short, and that was it. That was that was uh, th that was the day for me. Um, but yeah, look at this. this is, I ha I never used to play these um, uh, like penny stocks. Really, I mean it's a, it's a dollar something. Uh, granted, it did gap down from yesterday up here at one at four. It was a four dollar stock, but even that's kind of uh, small. Um, you know, it's for me, I, I really don't play these that much. But now I'm looking at them in my um, pre market active scan. That's under five, and that's really helpful for for uh, day traders if you're new and you don't have a lot of, you know, capital to risk. These smaller ones can be really big movers percentage wise and you can you can do well with them and it's i think it's a lower risk really because they either they're going to move a lot because there's some news moving them for some reason or they're just going to kind of just drift a little and and you don't have to worry about a really big loss you can you can make your your stop you know kind of tight um so yeah so this was a great play off of this pre-market actives under five dollars which i've been using a lot more recently so especially today's market i've I like this is my scan I've talked about in almost every video bouncing the review app it's it's yielding it's got like a profit factor of like two over the last couple months which is huge and I've been using it a lot but the last two days Friday and today have been pretty down the market's been pretty down um, so it's hard for those bouncing through view app plays to really uh, continue through view app and I'll show you like some examples of ones that just never really quite made it that I was looking at so yeah so this is one the bouncing through VWAP scan shows stocks that are bouncing after they've, you know, they're down on the day and they're coming back through VWAP uh, with some volume. And here you can see it came back, but, you know, the Zuo stock, which I was watching all day, and it came above 20, but then it just drifted back down because the market's just been so down. Um, so it's hard to get those plays when the market's not helping. Uh, so that's why I was looking at my pre-market aptus because those are that's like an alpha predator stock. It's going to move on its own regardless of what the rest of the market is doing. Um, so yeah, uh, but that was that was that was a big win for me. This this uh, PTI, um, nice nice short. Uh, really followed the trend here of of, of uh, dropping after the AMA catches up and the 20 catches up and just a nice little short. And I could do these every day if I found these every day. I'd be happy. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's it for the day. Um, hopefully going to be, like I said, live streaming my pre-market scans in, in uh, the coming days, Wednesday at the earliest. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer anything about day trading. Uh, but yeah, just watch my videos and ask me any questions you want. Thanks.